Hello everyone and welcome to another Starbase video. The ongoing Starbase Alpha is progressing nicely and once again we have added new features to the game. First of these is Beam Welding. Beam Welding makes it so you won't need attachment plates in order to attach beams together anymore. This will make your shipbuilding process as well as the repairing process a lot more simple. In the Spaceship Designer, this is done using the welding tool like so. The orange highlight signals unwelded beam connections. You can also use the tool to automatically replace all of your ship's attachment plate connections with welding without it having an effect on the rest of the ship. However, you can still use attachment plates as well if you wish to do so. There's also a welding tool available outside the Ship Designer. With that, you simply point at the beam, wait a while, and it's been welded. The welding tool needs energy to work, so make sure to have a power pack attached. The Universal tool has also been updated with the Material and Blueprint tabs. Using the Material tab, you can see which materials the object you're looking at is made out of. This can be used, for example, when looking at asteroids and wanting to know which materials the asteroid consists of, or when repairing your ship and needing to find out which materials you need to repair a specific part of it. The Blueprint tab is also useful for repairing the ship, as it shows your ship's blueprint and you can toggle on different layers from there to easily repair or look at the parts you want. You can also see how much of each material you have on hand and how much you need to repair each part. Starbase players themselves have also advanced the game with the ISAN navigation system developed by the Collective. ISAN uses the transmitters in different stations as reference points in order to calculate your relative position. In order to use it, you just need a receiver in your ship, a YOLO chip with the ISAN code in it, a memory chip, and a text panel to display the coordinates. This can then be used, for example, when you're stranded somewhere and need some fuel brought to your coordinates, or for saving a spot for later that's filled with valuable asteroid materials. There's even add-ons for the ISAN module, which you can use, for example, to display the speed of your ship. The ISAN YOLO code is fully public, and for more information on how to use it, you can see the link in the video description. In addition, three new ship shops were added to the game, each filled with only player-made ships. This means that a total of 45 new ships were added that are now available for any player to buy. Even the Hype Van is on sale there. And speaking of the Hype Van, there was also a Hype Van battle event this month in which teams of red and blue Hype Vans battled each other. In addition, the Bolt Crackers tournament is currently ongoing with the grand prize of being able to pick and name a color for the Spaceship Designer's color selection. Stay tuned for more videos on that to come. 